a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Pastor Onyeka Nevins. Today we begin a new study on the topic Jesus, the giver of rest. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for providing us with a rest, both a Sabbath rest and a rest of assurance in you that you are our God and our Savior, I pray. Amen. Well, friends, we are moving steadily through the lessons. If you have been following us, we have been looking at the message of Hebrews with emphasis on the book of Hebrews and what message that book has for us today. We have gone through four studies so far, that is four lessons, and this is our fifth lesson. And we are looking specifically on the topic, Jesus, the giver of rest. If you have been following us carefully, you'll remember that last week we look at Jesus, our faithful brother. And that was a wonderful lesson study. But for today, let us look at what is in store. Our passage of focus or our memory text, as we call it, is Hebrews 4 and verse 9. And this read, There remains therefore a rest for the people of God. I wonder what rest this is about. But let us dive in so we can get an understanding as to what this week lesson has in store for us. Quickly. When you look at Hebrews 1, that is chapter 1, all the way through to chapter 4, you see some very interesting contrast. Hebrews 1 and verse 2, well, Hebrews 1 and 2, that is chapter 2, focus on the installment of Jesus on the throne as two things, ruler and liberator. But then when you get to Hebrews chapter 3 and chapter 4, Jesus is seen as the one who will provide rest for us. So the first two chapters installs Jesus on the throne of God as a ruler and liberator. And then the next two chapters, chapter 3 and 4, Jesus provides rest for all of us. This chronological layout seems to make a lot of sense because Jesus is, yes, our ultimate ruler. Being our ruler, he liberates us from all the things that keep us down and take away our rest. And then now, as the one who provides rest, he's able to grant us or give us a new rest. This is especially important since in 2 Samuel 7, 10 and 11, there is a promise. And here is a promise. There is a promise that God would give something. And it says that in the Davidic covenant, God promised that he would give the promised king and his people rest from their enemies. This rest is available to us now because even though the promise was made specifically then, we all have one arch enemy in this great controversy, and that is Satan. But Hebrews describes both a rest that belongs to God and another rest, a rest as a Sabbath rest. And you see that in Hebrews 4, 1 to 11. God made this particular rest, which was his, available to Adam and Eve. The first Sabbath was the experience of perfection with the one who made the perfection possible. That is so wonderful. The one who made the perfection possible, that first Sabbath was spent with him and an experience of perfection with him. But guess what? That would have been marred. But God also promises a Sabbath rest because true Sabbath observance embodies the promise that God will bring that perfection back. So don't worry yourself about the burdens that you have right now and that sin may have marred thing. God will bring it back. And every Sabbath is a reminder that he will do so. I want to close with this very important reading for you from the lesson. It reads, when we keep the Sabbath, we remember that God made 
perfect provision for us when he created the world and when he redeemed it at the cross. True Sabbath observance, however, besides first and foremost pointing us back to creation, offers us a fortis in, the, in this imperfect world of the future that God has promised us. There you have it, friends. We have a rest in Jesus. He's our ruler, liberator, but he's also a rest. He provides us with rest. Accept it today. Accept Jesus today and accept the rest even through his Sabbath, which he has provided and asks you to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. There you have it, friends. That's a lesson for all. Oh, thank you for joining us today. Just bow your head with me while I pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your Sabbath rest. Thank you for being ruler, liberator, and granting us rest in you. In this imperfect world, the Sabbath is a reminder of the rest we have in you and that you will restore all things new. Help us to have faith in this and to be faithful stewards, both of our time and also obeying your commands. In your son's name I pray. Amen. And that's all the time we have. Have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. for another installment in the Alpha series. Have a wonderful week. Take care. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.